Hey, what is going on guys? It is Computer Surgeon here bringing you a brand new video today on how to remove bloatware from your PC. If you are unfamiliar with bloatware, it is something that is pre-installed on your PC by the manufacturer, either from the manufacturer themselves or a third party that is paying them to have the program pre-installed on the PC already. Um, in this case with the Lenovo, we have something called Internet Security that is pre-installed on the PC. Uh, nothing has been done to this PC except a few programs have been installed for a previous video. I just plugged it in and all this stuff was already on here and I will show you guys how to remove that in a little bit. Um, if you've ever seen um, something like this where you know there is Internet Explorer if you're working on a family member's computer or uh, a computer if you work in a computer PC shop and you open up Internet Explorer or whatever web browser they're using and see 50 million toolbars that uh, have no purpose, serve no purpose at all, probably something like an ask toolbar or something like that, but that is something that is very annoying and is considered bloatware or crapware, and crapware is just something that has no purpose whatsoever and does nothing uh, but slow down your computer in the long term. So back to this Norton Security thing uh, really quick. Um, so what happens with things like Norton Security is when you hit activate now, it's going to start the 30-day trial, and once that trial is over, it will bill whoever is whose ever computer it is. So they will be getting charged however much it is for Norton Security uh, each month and of course if they're not familiar with how to stop this service it'll just keep billing and billing and billing um, until either that credit card is canceled or you know the computer gets thrown away and the license is no longer active so that is just some things that can happen if there's bloatware in the PC and the user is not aware of it and just you know activates the trial and everything like that so you want to make sure that everything like that is off the computer unless um, you are paying for Norton Security. There are a ton of free antivirus removal software programs that you can download uh, free of charge. So Norton Security really, um, for me, it really isn't worth the money. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go into how to remove bloatware from your PC. And it's fairly simple. Um, go ahead and go to the control panel on the start menu. And where it says views by, make sure this is category and go to uninstall a program. Here we have um, a bunch of different uh, programs that are installed on your computer and how I like to check for bloatware or crapware or whatever you want to call it is by clicking the installed on and you will see here that a ton of these programs were installed on May 26th, 2012 and this is generally when Lenovo was building and imaging this computer so all of these programs have been pre-installed um, up until it looks like Evernote and Evernote is another program uh, like bloatware that you don't need on your PC, but they have clearly paid Lenovo to put that on there uh, without the consent of the uh, buyer or whatever, but it's on there and it's taking up space and we just want to remove it. So go ahead and uninstall it and you guys can just go in, um, look at all these programs, see if it has any benefit to you and if not, it's considered bloatware or crapware and you can just go ahead and uninstall it and there could be tons of these depending on what uh, manufacturer you have a computer from whether it's Lenovo or Toshiba or HP um, a while ago when I did buy an HP uh, computer it was filled with a lot of bloatware and I had to uh, spend some time to get rid of it but uh, Windows 7 really isn't the most um, bloatware free uh, friendly uninstall type uh, operating system so uh, Windows 10 is a lot easier and I will be coming out with a video on how to do that later so just go through these like Coral DVD I don't need that I'm just gonna uninstall all the programs that I don't need and unfortunately you can only uninstall one at a time but if you guys are also wondering um, what you have coming up on startup I know a lot of people have things like Skype and Spotify that come up automatically when the computer is booted you can download CCleaner and see exactly what is booting are starting on your boot so download CCleaner for free the link will be in the description and go to the tools and click startup now this is everything that start when you boot up your computer like um, Adobe Arm, Elgato Sound Capture, Power Manager by Lenovo and things like that so uh, you guys can go through these and if you have anything that you think is bloatware or you don't want to go on there a lot of times um, programs that start on boot will actually slow down the booting process and make things go a little bit slower so Elgato Capture don't need that uh, Power Manager by Lenovo don't need that and this will just generally clear up 
or not space, but it'll make it boot a lot faster because when you boot it, it's not trying to boot all these programs at the same time. Another option for those of you who are a little bit more tech savvy than the average Joe is doing a clean install of the operating system, whether you have 7, 8, 8.1, or 10. If you do a clean install, it will remove all bloatware and kind of restore it to the factory Microsoft settings with no bloatware. Uh, problem is with this is that you have to back up all your files on some kind of external or make sure that you have everything backed up to like uh, Google Drive, Dropbox, and things like that so you don't lose any documents or things like that. And when it comes to doing a clean install, you're gonna have to reinstall the drivers and things like that. So if you're gonna do this, make sure you have some type of ethernet or a gigabit connection and have some type of wireless connector um, that you can use to connect to the internet and the driver for that as well. Um, but that is pretty much it when it comes to removing bloatware on Windows 7. I will be doing a video on Windows 10 on how to remove that. Uh, it's a lot simpler and fairly easier and more user friendly to remove bloatware on there. But a lot of uh, manufacturers aren't really doing bloatware as much but like I said I'll be doing a video in a few days on Windows 10 how to remove the bloatware on there if you guys are watching this at a later date and you're looking for that video you guys can find it uh, with the white thing that just popped up above my head click on that and it'll take you to that video uh, but make sure you guys subscribe if you did enjoy this video and it did help you leave it give it a thumbs up and comment in the section below uh, if it did help you and leave me some some suggestions for future videos and I will be sure to get those done and put those out as soon as I can but yeah that's about it for this video guys make sure you give it a thumbs up if it did help you and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and peace out